Let's do that. Down. Let's start doing dummy jacks. Let's do 20. 20 dummy jacks. It's a really weird thing to smell about that. No, so that's not that. Oh, God. When you're done with the Jumping Jacks, start doing knee bends. So you're doing 20. Go ahead. 2-0. 20 Jumping Jacks. Doing knee bends. Let's get back to Jumping Jacks. Do 10 this time. 10. Just 10. 10. Just ten. Okay. And then do ten evens. All right. Let's do some kicks. Let's do some stretch kicks. So that's what they're right in the back. We're gonna like slip it like straight up, straight down. We're gonna do a couple of them. Ready? Go one and back down. Ready? Two and three. Four and five. Switch feet. Other side. And one, two, three, four, five. Switch feet. Let's do a front kick now. See lift. Snap it out. Ready? Go. One. And two. Three. Four. Five. Switch feet. Other side. Ready? And we got one. And two, three, four, five, switch. Let's do a round kick now. We'll kick. We'll put a foot in front and then we'll reset. All one move. Ready? Show me. Go. Kick. And back. And go. Kick. And back. Ready? Go. Kick. And back. Switch me. Other side. Other leg now. Ready? Go. Kick. And back. Go. Kick. And back. Ready? Go. Kick. And back. One more. Go. Boom. And back. Shake it up a little bit. Put your feet apart. Try to put your hands on the mat or the ground. All the way down to the ground. Reach. 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 Reach over your right leg. And go to your left leg. Go to your right leg, left leg, bounce in the middle, and up, shake it off a little bit. Here, let's bend one knee just like this. From here, try to go down. If you can, try to point your knee away from you so it's not like this in front of you. You want to push your knee all the way out behind you. And go to the other side. Try to keep your knee away as much as you can. And the other side. And the other side. Other side. Other side. Whoop, whoop. Which side are we gonna go? Whoop, whoop, this side. How about over here? How about over here? How about over here? How about over here? Shake it off a little bit. Go ahead, sit down. Let's do some butterflies. We're flying. We got our head down. Go ahead, get it down. Head down. And back up, and go back down. And up, and go back down. And back up, and one leg out. Go ahead, reach, try to get your toes. Reach, try to get your toes, and the other side. Grab your toes. And up, shake it off a little bit. Wave your feet. Go ahead, shake your feet off. Wave them again. And stand up. All right. You know what we're going to do? We're going to run through all the spine combinations real quick. I just want to make sure we kind of have that as a refresher. And then we're going to move into like sparring uh, ideas and concepts and stuff. So we're going to scoot back. Spine combination number one. We have our hands up here this way. 
You're going to show me step. We got our block. You're going to show me kick, punch, step all the way back, slide, kick, step back, and block. Perfect. Let's do number two. We have our hands up here. We step back. We block one. Back is two. Punch. Three. Feet the other. Four. Round kick. Five. Step back and block. Six. Peace kick. Let's try number three. Hands up. We're going to the back lap. We got one. Jumping kick two. Backwards punch, punch. Three, four, five. And snap six. Nice. Let's go the other way. Hands up here. And we go one. Jumping kick two. Chop. Punch. Step back. And return. And number five. This is when we cross around here. Make sure I do it right here. Go ahead, send block one. Go ahead, kick. Two, three, four. Oh, I like it backwards. Five, six, seven, and eight. Yeah. Oh, jeez. I did it backwards, I guess. Let's try that again. Get ready. Seven block one. So we're going to go this way. So. And we got okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. That was the right one for you guys. For me, I did it back with four. We're going to do number six. Get your hand here this way. Stepping back and block one. Be sure to turn two. Your back is three. Chop. And it's four. Sit back, low block. Rock. Be skid. Right. Those are the first six. For my bubble candidates, that's all you guys have to know. If the black world's in higher, there's going to be some other ones that we're going to do. We're going to do them right now, just for fun. Uh, if you guys are a bottle candidate, you guys can try to stay with us. Come here. Every hand come up. We're going to step back. We got a high block here this way. We're going to do three punches. So we're going to do three punches. One, two, three. And then here, slide back. And then low block. Let's try it one more time. Just around. Here, step back. One. We got two punches middle. One high. Slide. And low block. Cool. Piece cake. Easy. All right, we're going to try to do the next one. So that would be seven. Next one's gonna be eight. That's gonna be from the opposite way. So we're in number one, we stepped this way. From here, we're gonna step this way. Yeah, Daria. From here, you're gonna step and block one. From here, we're gonna shift. We're gonna do three punches. One, two, three. Bring your feet together. Turn your body sideways. You're gonna do a round kick with your front foot. And then from here, stepping back and block. So let's do that one more time. This will be number eight. You're going to step to the right, top right, and block one. From here, you're going to punch your other hand. So this hand aims out and punch. One, two, three. Feet together. Kick, step back, and block. Well, as if this is after seven, probably going to be number eight. This is number eight. <laughs> Next one is going to be number nine, and we're going to stop right there afterward. From here, getting your hand ready. Stepping back, we're going to do a low block. Without moving from here, we're going to kick our front foot. We're going to punch our front hand. And then we're going to punch our back hand, slide back, and then low block. So let's do it one more time. So we're here. Step back and block. One, kick. Two, front punch, back punch, slide, low block. That'll be up to nine. For right now, we're going to take a break. We might, we'll come back to those later just so we can review them. But we're going to take a break, and we're going to do a little bit more of uh, sparring concepts and ideas. We're going to try to talk about uh, – uh, Dario, what the question you have? I'm not exactly sure which is which. I believe it will be two added on, or I believe it might be one. I'm not exactly sure what, what Ms. Pina said before. I don't want to say something wrong. But it's a good idea to know those ones anyways. So. Can, can just we're gonna get into practicing regardless. Anyways, we're gonna uh, go into some farming concepts. We're gonna talk about speed. So speed. How do we increase speed? What's what is speed? Like why? What about it? Why is speed important? Do you want to be the first one to get hit or the second one to get hit or the second one to hit? You want to be the first one, right? How do you score points? If me and Miss McKenzie were sparring, right? I step in, she hits me in the chest first, and I punch her in the chest next. Who scored the point? Did I hit you first? You did it. Me. Miss McKenzie scored first because she hit me in this like we still hit the same targets, 
but she hit me first. So that means she gets the points. Does that make sense? It's a lot about speed. You want to be the first one to get in and get out. Does that make sense? Yes. There will be times you kind of draw them in so you can get them closer to your, to your technique, but you have to be the first one to hit them. You don't want to get hit, right? So we want to be sure we're moving, we're moving on our speed. So what are fast techniques? What would you think would be a fast technique? I'll give you, a, I'll give you a, like a little bit of a guessing game. You can either do with your front hand or your back hand. What do you think? If it's like punches, what do you think is going to be faster, your front hand or your back hand? If you think front hand, hold out one. If you think back hand, hold out two. All right, a lot of us are, we got a lot, a lot more ones than twos. You'd be correct. The front hand is gonna be faster. Why do you think it's gonna be faster? If I'm here, I'm sparring you, which one's closer? My front hand or my back hand? My front hand, right? It only has to travel that much. My back hand has to travel all the way from over here. It's closer. That's gonna be the only sole reason why it's faster because it's closer. That's it. Which one would you think would be stronger then? Which one do you think is stronger, number one or number two? The front hand or a back hand? Your back hand, number two. We're not going for strength though, right? We're not going for power. We're not trying to put power into our techniques when we're doing point sparring. We're trying to go for more speed related things. So we're gonna to have to use more of our front foot or front leg more often. A lot of us tend to use our back foot because we think our foot's moving faster. Te technically, the, the speed is increased because you have more time to build up speed, but I want to be able to get in, get out. In order to do that, I need to use my front hand or my front leg or more of my front position. So, let's get back. Whoever hands up, right back. We're going to develop a little bit of combinations with our front foot and front hand. We're going to have to use our foot to change angles instead of skipping from the one side. So, like a number one round kick. My foot's going to come from here and go across this way, right? If I keep kicking this way, all they need to do is that or this. They just need to block one side. But if they're only blocking this side, then this side's open, right? Then we can kick from here or we can kick down the middle. So we want to make sure to change that up. So from here, we're going to do a number three. So that's how we slide our feet together and kick. So we're going to do a number three round kick. So show me slide, kick, and put it down. Nice. Let's do that again. Ready? Go ahead, show me slide, kick. Bam, and put it down. One more, right? Go ahead, slide kick. Bam, put it down. And try to make it quick, snappy. From here, you lift, snap it out, put it down. You want to, boom, just like you're tapping something. You try to imagine you tap it. Boop, and you bring it back. And switch feet. Let's try the other side. Ready? Go ahead, show me slide kick. And back. Ready? And go, slide kick. And back. One more. Go. Bam. And back. So what do you think is going to be another fast move to change up the angle? So when I see the angle, our round kick is coming across this way. It's coming at attacking this side. What do you think would be another technique that we could do to change up the, the way we're attacking from? What's going to be maybe an attack that's coming straight at us or from the other side? What do you think? What do you think? Some people say hook kick. So Sam said hook kick. Would you be right? That would be 100% correct. What else? What else do you think? We gotta make it fast. Side kick would work, hook kick. Well, do we always have to attack with our feet? Punches too, right? We can use a front punch, we can use a jab. I wanna continue and use a jab because eventually we get closer, we're gonna use our front hand and that also makes it so that my recovery time with my leg can be different. I could use it for a different thing. I could like lunge and then follow up with a different technique. It'll just, it'll come in smoother and faster. So let's go and try this, hands up. From here, you're gonna slide, kick your front foot, and then from here, before you put your foot down, you're punching as soon as it goes down. So it's going from here, from the side, one, two, as soon as everything touches. So it's quick, it's happening fast. Boom, boom. Ready? Show me go one, slide, kick, punch, pow, pow, and back. Ready? And go, slide, kick, punch, and back. Ready? And go, slide, kick, punch. And back. Switch feet. Let's try the other side back. Ready? Slide, kick, punch, and back. And go. Slide, kick, punch, and back. Ready? Go. One, two, and back. Awesome. 
Now, what we're going to do is we're actually going to add on the hook kick. Depending on the height and where you want to land is going to be where your kick is going to go. Let's say we're focusing a lot of our kicks. Boom, boom, low. We're going to punch low because we can really only punch here, right? So we're kicking around the side over here into the middle. Bam! We throw our punch in the middle. And then from here, we're going to use a hook kick to go up high. So we're going to do a number three round kick, punch, and then into a number three hook kick. So if I'm trying to chain everything together looking smooth, I'll go one. While I'm punching, I'm kind of sliding my feet together. Two, three. It's almost like I'm continuously attacking. If I were hitting something, it would go one, two, three. I want to one, two, three. So let's try it, ready? Slow first. From here, slide, kick, punch. As soon as your hand comes in, your feet are together. Hook kick. And down. All right, come back. Ready? And go. Slide, kick, punch, up top. Bam. And back. Ready? Let's try a little faster. And go. Boom, boom, boom. And back. Last one. And we're going to switch feet. Ready? Go. Slide. Kick, punch, kick. All right, switch feet, other side. Here, ready. And go, slide. Kick, punch, kick. And back. Get ready. And go, slide. Kick, punch, kick. And back. Couple more, ready? And go. One, two, three. If it's okay, you can do a number one instead. You're going to do like a number one from here to here. If you don't have enough room, just move up to the second one. Change it. If you're running out of space, let's say you put them up against the wall, you wouldn't want to try to run through them through the wall, right? If I'm here, maybe you have to take a step back and then throw your foot kick. You want to be able to adjust. Anyways, let's keep going, ready? Two more. Go ahead, slap kick. Bam, bam, bam. And follow up. Last one, ready? Let's see if you can be quick. I more. Get set. And go. One, two, three. All right. Shake it off. Now I got a question for you. Are we ever never going to use our back foot then? Does that mean we're never going to use our back foot? No, right? When, when do you think it might be a better idea to use your back foot? What kind of combination are we doing? And why? What, what's, think about how this combination is working. We're going forward, right? We're going forward. So what's in front of us? It's forward. Our foot. Yeah, counters would work. Counters would work. That, that also includes them like moving around, right? If we're doing this attack, we're kind of get closer. The close range kind of helps. But we're also moving forwards and backwards, right? So if they're in front of me, like you guys are here, bam, bam, that's the closest thing that's to you. So that'd be my best, my best attack for right now, first line of attack. But what happens when I'm over here and you guys are like in front of me? Let's say you guys like span around, wah, now you're here. What's kind of, what's closer? When they turn, when, when you turn, when they turn, when the angles, the angles change. If I'm here, my back leg might be closer to actually attack now. Same thing here, my back leg, boom, might be a bit closer to attack. And I can use my front foot or my back foot. So I want you guys to think about an angle, how this works. We're drawing this guy forward. We're going to use the first two movements. We're sliding, kicking, punching. That's going to be our first two attacks. So let's slide back. Let's try this one more time. Ready? We slide, kick, punch. Now I want you to imagine in your head, I want you guys, who's got amazing imagination? Who's got amazing imagination? You're gonna use your imagination. Instead of them moving backwards so we can follow the hook kick in front of us, we're gonna pretend the person moves off to the, the, the right side over here. They moved over there because I'm kicking. Boom, they decided that way they're pun I punch and they decide to move this way. Maybe that's the way I punch at them here. Now from here, they're getting closer to my back foot. Now I can cut them off and use that back leg for a round kick. Do you guys see that? We're gonna to try to add it on. So from here, we get ready. We're gonna do it slow. So we slide, kick, punch. Now the person's over here to our right. We're gonna to kick to the right side over here. So we kick and put it down. All right, so show that again, ready? 
Slide one, two, now they're over here. Three, sweet. What happens if they go behind us? We slide, kick, punch. Now what happened? They're over there. We're gonna look over, bam! We're gonna throw a kick over there. It could be a hook kick, it could be a side kick, it could be a tornado kick, bam! Be whatever you want. Let's do a hook kick just for fun. Ready? So we slide, kick, punch. Yes, yeah, I like a spin hook kick. It could be a reverse. From here, I'm ready. Bam! And then kick. Let's switch feet. Let's do the other side, ready? We're right here. Slide and kick forward. One, two. Now instead of them moving to our backside, they're moving to our front side. So we're gonna do round kick. So we kick, bam! And go back, ready? Go ahead, slide. Boom, boom, they're moving away, moving away. Here we go, bam! All right, they're gonna move to our backside now. So from here, we're sliding, kick, punch, they move to our backside over here, look over, bam! Throw that kick. Let's try it again, ready? Show me slide, kick, punch. Where are they now? Backside, bam! And back. Last one, and then we're gonna switch feet, and I wanna make it a little bit of a game, ready? So we slide, kick, punch, then move to the back. How are you? And go ahead, put your right back. Hands up. So with the combination we're doing, we have pretty much two of them, right? One of them, they're moving, what I would say the front side is where our belly is facing, and then one of them, they're moving to our back side, where our back is facing, right? Thumbs up if you remember. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say go. You're going to do your first two techniques, your slide, kick, punch, and then I'm going to tell you either front or back, and then you have to try to react. So from here, let's say... I say go, you slide, kick, punch, I have, then I say front, you're gonna boom, try to do your round kick over there, and then you'll reset. Or what happens if I say back? Boom, boom, boom. Try to do back side. Wanna react quickly, quickly. Ready? Get your hands up, let me see. When I say go, it's slide and kick, and then I'm gonna say front or back. So listen very carefully, ready? Go! Show me front side. Bam! I see that kick, Stringer. <laughs> that was more to the backside, though, it looked like it. Let me see it. Okay, where would you start? Did you start this way or this way? It all depends. All right, that would, uh, well, that would have backside. That's okay. Ready? Show me, go. All the moves to the front side again. They didn't learn. Bam. <laughs> Get ready. You already have a counter for that side. They didn't, they didn't figure it out yet. Go ahead, go. They're on the backside now. Look out. Bam, Trio, when you do that, look over your back shoulder. Instead of like trying to kick from all the way over here, that takes way too long. They're way far away from that one. Bam, just turn it and like spin. Okay, ready? Ends up. Smith, are you taking a break? No break time. And go. Oh, they moved to the front side. I think you, they forgot. Bam. All right, get ready. Let's try another one. And go. Back side, they're over there. Bam, sweet. Go ahead, switch feet. Ready? And go. They're over there on that side. Front side now. Then we're rushing. Get ready. And go. Uh-oh. They're moving over here. Moving over here. Bam. Oh, ouchies. Get ready. And let's see where they go. Go. Oh, they're moving over here. Over here on this side. That's the right side. Bam. Ow. You guys kicking me. All right, shake it off a little bit. Like I said, we're gonna go over the, 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 those three extra, that's extra, the three sparring combinations we were doing before, seven, eight, and nine, just so everyone remembers real quick. So from here, we step back, one our right stance, we'll have this hand up. We're gonna take our right foot back, step, high block one. We have three punches, one, two in the middle, and then three up high, slide back, low block. Peace cake. Next one. I like to say it's the opposite of number one because you're stepping the opposite way. So from here, right foot's gonna step. You got your block. You're gonna punch your right hand first. One, two, three. Slide your feet together. Round kick, step back, and block. Beautiful. Last one, be number nine. So from here, hand comes across. You're stepping back for a low block. You're this way, kicking your front foot. Front kick, front punch, back punch. So it's gonna be like a jab across. Then from here, slide back, low block. All right, one more time. We're gonna run through one more time. 
Let's see if you can do it strong. Ready? One, clear. Show me. Two, three, four, and five. Sweet. Sarah, that was looking strong. That was looking real strong. Scary, too. Oh, my goodness. Let's do number eight. Hands up. Right foot step lock. One, bam. Show me. Two, three, four, and five, six. Oops, that was Bam. That's a not number. All right. Sure are you. That was looking pretty strong. Try it. That was looking strong. Yes, you. Okay, we're gonna do number nine now. Ready? Show me step back. One, two, three, four, and five. Sweet. Who's got strong muscles here? Me. Look at my muscles. Ah! Right? Is that what you guys doing? <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's get those stronger muscles. Let's get some. We're going to do leg muscles today. So it wasn't more of this. It was more of. They really can't see the pants. But from here, go down on your knees. Just like this. What we're going to do, this is going to be one whole entire rep. From here, you're going to jump up onto your feet, and then you're going to jump, bring your knees up into your chest. That counts as one. We're going to do. Five of them. Five. And when you do it, you want to be quick. So watch. This is what you want to aim to be from here. One, two. And then land soft. Don't land hard. Land on the balls of your feet. Like a cushion. A little spring. Go ahead, try it. Five. Boom. And then jump up. Bring your knees up into your chest, too. So jump, bam, into your knees. So that'd be one. And then from here, this would be two. And then we get ready. And then three. Bam. We get ready. Four. Bam. One more. One more. And five. Easy? Who thought it was easy? <laughs> hey, if you guys thought it was easy, you guys can do 20 more. <laughs> That's up to you, though. Here, I'm going to stand up. Great job today. Awesome work. The sparring. Who, who, who gets the idea with the speed and how the, especially with the angles, can make it so you can kick both legs or what's going to be the faster? Thumbs up if you get that. Cool. Awesome. Everyone, bring your hands together. Show me two claps. Bow. You guys have an awesome day. Adios. See you later.